If you look at the fourth quarter highlights, uh, the, the main highlight is that we completed successfully the transaction in Rostov, which we announced already previously. And now the, all the conditions precedent were fulfilled and the, the deal was completed. Also, um, it, to summarize the fourth quarter, we typically like to look at the fourth quarter as a summary of the full year. So on a full year basis, it is, good that, uh, it is good that we both have increased the EBITDA and we have also increased the net profit on a year on year basis. Uh, and we will also be proposing a dividend in accordance with our dividend policy, which means up to 30% of the net profit. So we'll be looking to propose this to the upcoming shareholders meeting. So we will be a, for a dividend yielding company also this year, subject to getting the shareholders approval. Irrigation is um, basically artificially watering the plants, uh, primarily with what is called the pivot system, where with very large uh, pipes we spray the water onto the, to the fields. Uh, the Rostov farm has uh, access to the good quality fresh water, which is uh, sourced from a nearby huge water reservoir, uh, which in itself has been created by damming Don River, which is some of the, one of the largest rivers in Russia. And uh, the, the plan for us at the moment is the following. We will be aiming to do a pilot project in irrigation this year. It will be a small project of only 270 hectares, but it will be allowing us to get the first-hand experience from what it actually means to irrigate in this region. We have studied irrigation in the US, where we have seen that irrigated farming can give up to three times higher revenues per hectare compared to non-irrigated farming. So we believe similar potential is available in Rostov. And in the parallel this year, we are preparing all technical design projects uh, to be able to start launching in irrigation investments starting from 2014. We will be carrying in them out in stages, and we are looking to involve uh, third-party strategic and financial investors on the project themselves. Uh, so on a project basis, uh, we would be uh, involving outside funding. Uh, and and th at this stage, uh, we aim to set the investments up gradually over the next few years. Um, the, the exact deadlines and deta details of the expansion plan will be published in, in due press releases to come, um, but the overall plan is that within the next four years, uh, at least, we will build up uh, as large areas as we can on the irrigation in Rostov. We view as our core assets our grain production operations in Ukraine and the grain production operation that we acquired in Rostov. We categorize into non-core assets our milk farming operations in Estonia and northwestern Russia and uh, the grain uh, production operations for the domestic market in the Penza region. Uh, we are aiming over the next uh, few years uh, to release capital as we have outlined previously from the, uh, these non-core assets. Um, we already were searching for different options for the milk operations over the last uh, 18 months. We so far have seen that the uh, exit alternatives that were, we were studying were not providing us the required returns uh, on our own investment that we were ha ha targeting. And, we, were, and we, we did not see a possibility for separately listing the company to the market conditions at the, which we raised at this stage. Uh, but we are uh, continuing to research these options and uh, we, again, the aim and the goal stay the same, but the exact timeline has at the moment uh, been uh, not fixed and, um, and we will be expecting to come back again with new announcements on this matter in due course. The medium term targets for us is first and foremost to make sure we, we do not issue at the moment any additional shares. We believe we have enough uh, uh, capital in the business and uh, the focus really has to be to uh, extract the maximum efficiency out of the assets that we already own. Uh, we are also aiming uh, for on the medium term to uh, release the capital from non-core assets so that we could use this uh, for partly repaying our leverage but and partly also directing towards investments in the core business. And if we successfully uh, focus on the core operations and continue um, to um, sort of improve their operations as well as uh, build up irrigated farming in Rostov over time, we believe we have a very good chance of achieving our declared uh, returns uh, target, which is 20% of return on assets. Uh, we have already achieved similar and higher returns on parts of our business in Ukraine, and we clearly see the potential of doing the same also for the rest of the core operations, which is the remaining part of Ukraine as well as the Rostov operation. Currently the fields are still covered in the snow. What we can say is that the weather conditions have been more favorable for us uh, in, in the, during uh, sort of the 
plantings we've had in, in this year compared to la last year. So uh, in, by this year's planting, I mean uh, crops that were uh, seeded in autumn 2012, and which are now under snow cover so that uh, they will be harvested this year. Um, so net net we are better, uh, we have a better position today in terms of the field outlook than we had a year ago, but it's still early uh, time of the year. We still have the spring season, the summer season, the harvest season in autumn coming up, which will, uh, will of course be very important to see how the outlook um, will develop for the crops. Uh, so therefore it's too preliminary to give any further guidance on the upcoming harvest.